This is the card that's up on the blog today and I thought that instead of trying to explain in words how I got the trees in the background with the big tree in the foreground, I'd show you the technique that I use to, to do that background foreground stamping. So the first thing that you have to do is make a mask of, of your foreground image. So you just get a scrap piece of paper and you stamp it just using, I just use basic black ink and then you carefully cut round the whole image so that you end up with that. And then you pop that to one side. The next step that, that you're going to do is actually stamp your foreground. When I first tried doing this I got very confused because I couldn't imagine stamping the background last. I, my instinct was always to stamp it first but this is the best way to do it. So you've inked up your stamp and we just do this. Normally I stand up to stamp because it gives you a better image but that one's worked okay. Then the image that you've cut out you just place over the top just like that and then these trees are the ones that are going in the background so we'll ink up that stamp and we will just stamp over the top again I'd normally be standing up for this bit but it's worked fine and that's it simple that's how you do it and the good thing is this don't throw it away keep it because you can use it again and again and so you've, once you've cut it out you've always got it there just keep it in your box with your stamps so then that is just ready to go straight on to the card although I did edge I did I did just um, edge around cardstock just a little and that is it done thank you for watching